Hello everyone, welcome to Mindset versus Motivation. And I, I want to talk about suicide. Now recently, Regina King's son committed suicide. A model or pageant model, uh, Miss US, I think she was 20, USA 2019, threw herself from a building. You would think because she had the looks, she had the job, she had the status, that she would never do such a thing. So for whatever reason, only she knows, she decided to take her life. Kevin Gates, a well-known rapper, was just on social media saying that he wanted to take his own life. He has the riches, he has the fame, he has the celebrity status. Yet and still, he felt like he didn't want to partake in his life anymore. Suicide crosses all genders. It does not matter if you're in a penthouse or the projects. It does not matter if you come from a rich home or a poor home. It doesn't matter your age. It doesn't matter what you look like, but something within yourself make you feel like you do not want to go on. <clears throat> A lot of times it stems from your childhood. A lot of issues that you have not dealt with in your childhood. Now people may say, you know, you can't blame your parents they did the best that they can, putting a Band-Aid over the bullet wound. But your formative years are the most important years of your life. That is where you learn how to have self-esteem. That is a that's very important time in your life. Your parents did the best that they can with what they had. Well, like you're out here researching and trying to become a better person. There wasn't the internet. Maybe there wasn't the internet at that time, but there were libraries. It stems from your childhood. Did they, were they doing the best that they can when they allowed someone to creep into your bedroom at night? just to pay the bills, just to have a roof over their head, even though they know what was going on was wrong, they didn't protect you. Did they know what they was doing out on the streets, in and out of jail, would keep you away from them and you will grow up with abandonment issues, feeling lonely, not being raised properly? They had their own things they had to deal with. And nine times out of 10, it was passed down from their parents. They didn't show you that they loved you because their parents didn't love you. They abandoned you because their parents abandoned them. See, all of these issues play a part of your self-esteem and how you value yourself, how you view the world how you cope with relationships, all of this is important. So it stems from your childhood. There's a lot of unhappy people out here, more unhappy people than healed people. It took me recently to begin to heal myself. I have my own issues and I've dealt with suicide on a personal level being myself. I did not want to be here anymore. I lost hope. I felt like my life would never change. I thought that I would be in a circumstance for the rest of my life. I felt like I didn't achieve the things I wanted to achieve. All it is is your mind talking to you, forcing you to give up on yourself. I actually attempted 
to take my own life. And people will say, well, why would you get on social media and say all of this stuff and tell all your business? Guess what? What I'm telling you might save, what I'm on here saying might save someone's life and give them hope to believe that things will get better, to believe, to keep on pushing forward, stay focused, stay away from the negativities. Now we have social media, which is a good platform to network and build and express yourself and show your creativity, but there's a dark side to it. We have 40-year-old, 30-year-old, 20-year-old, 60-year-old, 70-year-old bullies on social media. People who jump on social media because they are not fulfilled with their life and they see something and they want to make you feel bad about yourself. Or they want to condemn the way you live your life or what you look like. Suicide is a serious thing and a lot of people are dealing with it. And before someone can help a person, it's too late. And then you have people that may say, well, people have their own issues they're going with, going through, and, and this and that. But that does not stop you from taking time out of your life to save a life. When I went through my darkness and I didn't want to live anymore, there were two people, two who brought me through it. They called me every day. They would pet me up. They would make me laugh. I was sitting inside of a truck, sometimes thinking about just running off into a mountain. Seriously, my mind was not there. Okay. A lot of people are going through this and it's not being talked about enough. You think you see people with, sm with smiles on their faces? They're on social media. They're acting as if they're happy and everything is all good. But when they get alone and when they are bad themselves, you don't know what they are dealing with and the unhappiness that they may feel. So how do you begin to heal? You have to look at your past in a real realistic manner. Like I said, they will say, oh, well, your parents did the best that they can. No, you have to look at what your parents or whoever raised you, how you were, how you were raised, the environment you were raised in, how it affects, affected you, how you are showing up in the world, the relationships that you have, the reason you can't get close to anyone, the reason why you lash out on people, the reason why you're so aggressive, the reason why you will fight on a drop of a dime because of pain. And that pain has not been dealt with. You got to feel it to heal it. So once you face your demons and once you face the fact that, guess what? My parents weren't the best parents. And we're all human. We all have our faults. You may have kids and you have your faults and whatever, whatever. But people just sometimes keep the pain that they're going through inside and sometimes people mask it with a smile or they try to cover it with a status or they try to cover it with a title or they try to cover it with achievements or they try to cover it with being people pleasers or they, whatever it goes on and on and on so how do you heal you have to face what really went on in your childhood and you have to begin at whatever age you are on fixing it, reparenting yourself, loving yourself the way no one else has loved you, 
change what you what per, your perception of love really is know and understand what love really is and love does not involve pain love does not in, involve uh, of involve involve abuse love does not involve someone talking down on you someone trying to take away from your accompli accomplishments that's not love. So try to find what the true definition of love is and begin to love yourself. See, a lot of people are not loving themselves and I will throw myself in that category. I did not love myself. I carried on as if I was a person who did not love myself and I did not realize that's what that was. Begin to love yourself. When you love yourself, no matter, and build your self-esteem and build your confidence, no matter what you go through, what people say about you, you will be able to overcome it because you believe in yourself if no one else believes in you. You love yourself, so you're not looking for someone to love you. And some of the people that you want to love you don't even love themselves, including relationships, including parents, including family members. They don't even love themselves. So how do you expect them to love you? Trust me, life gets better. It gets easier. You have to be around more positive people. You have to be around people who will uplift you. And even if you don't have those type of people around you, because depending on what type of environment you're in, everyone is suffering from the same mental illness. A lot of people are running around with mental illness and they haven't even been diagnosed. They don't even realize what they got going on with them and their behavior is actually a mental illness. So they will pass that along to you. Life gets better. You have to make it better. You have to find happiness within yourself. You have to fill that emptiness with something that will make your life better instead of drugs, sex, whatever, whatever. No judgment. You know, it masks the pain temporarily, but it don't take away the true pain inside of you. It's used as a temporary fix. If you are thinking about taking your own life and you feel like you don't want to live here anymore, and sometimes we'll look at how other people are living, how people portray themselves to be. We'll get on and watch other people's social media. Oh, they're so happy. They have this, they have that. Like I said, you can, um, people dealing with suicide, in the projects and the penthouses. You have to find out what that emptiness is inside of you. Once you fill that emptiness up and begin to not care what people think about you and you move in this world like you are in love with yourself because you deserve to be loved and you are worthy of love. Even though you may have never received it, you are worthy of it, so start giving it to yourself. Practice gratitude. Be happy for the car that you have. Every time it might start up, it might sound like it's a shootout at the a, uh, OK Corral and your neighbors start jumping in the bushes. But you got a car. There's some people out here walking. There's some people out here that got to catch five buses to get to work. Got to get up three o'clock in the morning just to make it to work at eight. 
So put some duct tape on that hoopty and practice gratitude. You may want a bigger house, it may come in time, but appreciate the uh, studio apartment or apartment that you have or whatever, or if you're living with someone and know that you will do better later on. It's all the mindset, the mindset. What are you taking in? Who's talking to you? How are you talking to yourself? Things will get better. Trust me. Two years ago, I didn't feel, I didn't think that I would be, oh, I, I, that's, the words are, I can't even explain how bad I felt about myself and my life and I did not want to be here. Oh, nobody loves me. Nobody cares about me. And it was until I started to love and care about myself and not care about the fact that I felt like other people didn't care about me. When I began to not care if other people cared about me and start caring about myself, that is when the whole game changed. So don't think just because you're in a temporary situation, and I don't want to get deep off and, and to the topic because every day, off the topic. Every day is a new day. Every day, and this is on some metaphysical stuff, every day is a new day. Every day you wake up is a reset. We are living in the now. Time is an illusion. It's like we're in a loop, I believe. We're in a loop, you know, whatever. So every day is a new day. I don't want to go deep off into that. You can do your own research. Uh, pick up a book or go on YouTube and watch the video Power of the Now. I think that is by Eckhart Tolle, The Power of Now. See, when I went through my depression, after I got to the point where I felt like I got a little spark inside of me, then I began to read books. Listen to audio books, listen to motivational stuff, listen, listen to stuff that made me feel like I can go forward, that this current circumstance will not last forever. I had to listen to stuff like that and believe it and know in due time. That my reality, which is my current reality, which is the time that I'm in right now, will soon shift to something greater and something better. If you're feeling like whatever you are in and then you have people say, well, accept the things that you cannot change. You can change any situation you want to change with your mind. You can change it. When people say, accept the things you cannot change will make you believe that you're in a state where you can't change what you're going through, but you can change it. Once you change your mindset, once you stop believing that this situation will go on forever, what you focus on grows. Where your attention goes, grows. So if you're focused on the bad and everything that's happening in your life and you're focused on all the mishaps and you're focused on the lack of love and you're focused on this and that, it grows. But if you focus on things will get better let me get into these studies and listen to this positive material so I can shift my mindset so I won't continue to marinate in the depression. That is when your life will change. 
Trust me, it works. The mind. It's not over for you. If you are sitting here feeling like you want to give up, it's not over for you. There's a lot of people that have been in your shoes and dealt with different things. It is not over for you. 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 You just need someone to tell you that it is not over. You just need someone to give you a push. You just need someone to hold on to just a little bit. See, when you're alone, it's you and your thoughts. And your thoughts are not going to talk to you in a way that's going to get you out of that depression. Your thoughts are going to make you want to pull that trigger. Your thoughts are going to make you want to take those pills and that drink and never wake up. Your thoughts is going to make you want to jump off that building. Your thoughts is going to make you want to slit your wrist. So you just have to listen to positive information, positive material, block out Everything else going on, I mean, block it out, block it out, block it out, block it out, block it out. Have faith, believe that it will get better, know that it will get better. Think about all the times that you've been in situations where you thought it was over, that you couldn't get back up and you just wanted to lay down and three years later, you made it out of that situation. You are stronger. You built your spiritual muscles. You built your mental muscles and you came up out of it. You came up out of it and you can do it this time. That's all I have to say, y'all. Just believe that your life will get better. And if you don't have anyone, tune in to me on Motivational Mondays or wherever you've seen this video. Because I'm here to give you a dose of motivation and inspiration. And I'm going to pull you and help pull you out of that depression. Pull you out of those suicidal thoughts. Pull you out of not feeling love. Push you into loving yourself. And remember, there's a lot of un more unhealed people and unhappy people today than there are healed people. And if you surround yourself with the unhealed people, you will never heal. That's all I got to say, y'all. TTYL, it gets greater later.